Good evening, everybody. This is uh, Dr. Nandi. I'm back again to talk about uh, residual plot uh, for linear regression. So I'll share my screen with you. So the problem is an educator wants to determine how the number of absences for a student in her class affects the student's final grade. The data obtained from a random sample are shown. Number of access absences is X and final grade is Y, okay? So we, in order to make a residual plot for this data, we enter X data in L1 and Y data in L2. Then we press the stat button and highlight calc on the top row and then scroll down to number four, which is lindreg ax plus b function. And in that function, the first line is x list, which is L1, y list is L2, and we scroll down to calculate without changing anything else, and we hit enter. So when we hit enter, we get the regression line equation, which is y hat, which is the predicted value of y is equal to minus 2.67, which is the slope, which is the term A in front of X, plus B, which is the intercept, 96.78. This is the equation of the list square regression line. Now, residual is defined as Y hat minus the Y actual. By Y actual, I mean the actual values of Y as shown in the table in the top of the page, okay? So for each value of X, we can calculate a Y hat. And then we take the difference between Y hat, which is the predicted value of Y from the list square regression line equation, minus Y actual gives me the residual. So for example, for X equal to 10, we plug in the X value of 10 in the equation. So in our calculator, we do minus, this minus, you have to be careful, it is the minus sign on the left of the enter button. 2.67 times 10 plus 96.78, enter. And we get y hat equal to 70.08. Now for x equal to 10, the actual value of y as given in the data is 70. So the residual is 70 minus 70.08 or minus 0.08. To calculate other residual, put the cursor on the first line in L3. So you do stat one, then put your cursor on the first line in L3, and then press the up cursor button to, so that the cursor is on L3. Cursor is now sitting on the place where L3 is written. Then press second button, then stat. Okay, second button and then stat, okay? and scroll down to RESID, R-E-S-I-D, and hit enter. So what happens now, L3 is equal to RESID, and then you hit enter again. Now L3 is filled with all the residual values for all the given Xs, okay? Then we will press second Y equal to and number one, okay? So plot one, okay, it should be on, and then the type, we will select the first type of chart. We have to be careful the X list below that thing will be L1 and Y list should be L3 because I want to plot L3, which is the residual versus X, which is in L1, okay? So if you do this for this problem, you will see there are three points above the X axis and three points below the axis, X axis. So three points below the x-axis and three points above the x-axis. Therefore, there's no particular pattern in the residual plot, which shows that the least square regression line is a good fit between x and y, okay? So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to write a comment and I will get back to you. Also, please subscribe to my channel as I come back every week with different problems solved by TI-84. Again, please subscribe to my channel and write in a comment. If you have a question, I will answer your question. Thanks for 
watching my video. And if you have any question, then write a comment and I will see you next time. Goodbye and take care. Okay, bye.